decorative bobbles for the hat can be a lot of fun. They've begun with a stalk of four stitch I cord and then change to a new colour and begin round one of the bobble, which is just a simple knit two, yarn over, knit to the end of the row. And for the time being, we're going to carry on treating this like an eye cord. We'll slip it back to the opposite end of the needle. And the next row is simply knitting those five stitches. And we'll knit the yarn over through back loops. To put a twist in it so it doesn't make a big gappy bit. Now we're going to significantly increase this. So we'll slip to the end of the needle and now we're going to start introducing more needles. We're just going to work a knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over onto the first needle. Making sure you don't lose that last yarn over knit one, yarn over, knit one. And I'm keeping my stitches quite snug so that they stay on these needles and lightweight needles really help. And then this next needle, I'm going to begin with the yarn over, knit one, and end with the yarn over. So I now have three needles in the work and lots of yarn overs. So we should have 10 stitches. Just make sure that that last yarn over doesn't disappear when you start the next needle. And again, we'll work the overs through back of loops to make them twist. The easiest way to do it is to put the needle in the front and sort of swivel them round one another and then you're easily in to the back of that yarn over. Complete this round and follow it with a plain round of 10 knits. Once this round is completed, continue for a further two rounds working on your 10 stitches. If you dropped a yarn over somewhere and it's missing, you can always invent it by picking up the bar of yarn between two stitches. And if you find that a more stable way of going from five to ten stitches, you can certainly use that method as well. The number of rounds in these bobbles is pretty flexible, uh, but we'll start out with the one I've described in the Colour Me Happy hat. And now we're on to round six, where you're increasing between each one of the ten stitches, making a total of twenty. This is going to be followed by a couple of plain rounds, and you'll work into the back of the yarn overs to tidy them up again. We're at 20 stitches now, which is the maximum on this bobble. And I'm going to begin a new colour. I'm going to break off the yellow, even though I'm going to probably go back and use it later in the bobble. It just gets too tangled up. So I'm going to knit in my new colour tail in the same way that we used earlier in the hat for neatening the stripe joins. Even if I only weave it in a couple of times here, that will be sufficient because it's going to be down inside the bobble. So lift it up, knit the next stitch, or alternatively, you can leave the tail sticking out on the outside of the bobble so that you can get back to them with the darning needle later to attend to them. Far end of the round, I can take the yellow tail and knit that in at the back. That takes care of both of those. This time I'm just going to lift the yellow tail up, knit underneath it, yellow tail down, one more knit underneath. And that's taking care of both the turquoise and the, the yellow tail. Next round is a purl round to create a purl bump. My 
pearl round is completed, making a nice garter bump on the front of my bobble. And I want to use this yarn again, but I'm going to estimate how much I'm going to need. So three times the bobble for one round, two, three times the bobble for the next round, and break off the yarn. It's a, an inspired gamble. It's just easier not to be attached to the full ball of yarn for the next round. I've finished my garter bump now and I'm going to take two new yarns. I've guessed at the length by winding them loosely around my fingers three times. And I'm just going to do one round with these two colours alternating. I've left my tails on the front of the work so that I can neaten them later with a darning needle. That's the end of my two colour round and again I'm going to leave the tails on the front. Pick up my stripe colour and make another garter bump just as before. My second garter bump is completed and now I'm going to go back to either the original colour or to another colour again if you choose. There are so many options here that you can make your mind up and play with all the scraps you have left over. And again, I'm going to take this opportunity to knit these tails in. The remainder of the bobble is worked in this, this last colour. When you've got down to 10 stitches and have worked another two plain rounds with 10 stitches. Now you can take a moment to stuff the bubble. So if you've got any yarn tails that are neatened but are still hanging out, you can tuck them down inside. These tails are not yet dealt with, so we'll get to them later. And chances are you're going to have some other yarn tails lying around. So you can use these or you can use conventional stuffing but since we're trying to reuse let's use the scraps that we have available to us so stuff your bobble and then it's completed with the decrease round now we're going to decrease this down to five stitches so since i only have one stitch on that needle i'm going to pop it back over there fiddly and squirmy. Knit two together. Knit two together. Knit two together. And we might as well go straight back onto one needle. Knit two together two together and now I'm ready and it'll be very easy to thread my needle through those stitches to gather them together.